Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. And today I wanna to talk to you about a product that's coming to us from a company called Vessel, VSSL. And basically what they do is they make kits uh, filled with outdoor gear and they put them in these vessels, these tubes, and they've got a wide variety. So they've got ones that are focused on shelter, some focused on first aid. Uh, this is called the supplies kit. I've got their website right here in front of me and it says this contains the outdoor gear you need for short term excursions. So I don't know if I necessarily call it a survival kit, um, but it's got a lot of cool gear in it. And I've seen these for a while and I saw on their website that they've been reviewed in a wide variety of magazines, publications. So I thought, you know what, let's check it out. They reached out to me, I said, yeah, let's go ahead and review one of these. So what we'll do is we'll basically uh, open this up and show you the gear that's in it and then we'll talk about what we actually think about the gear. So uh, let's jump right into it and see what's included in the supplies kit from Vessel. All right, let's start at the top and work our way down. So first thing you can see is up at the very top, we've got a compass. So um, having checked it out a little bit, I can tell you that yes, it does orient itself north. Sometimes you get a compass that can just get hung up and doesn't really you know, work because it's just so cheaply made. So this one definitely does work. Let me take this off here. Uh, I will tell you that there is a gasket in there. You can probably see that. So that's gonna help keep things dry inside. When you open it up, that's what the bottom of it looks like. So that's your first item is a compass. Next thing underneath that is a candle and it looks like yep you can put the candle right in the cap there like that so the website says this is a six hour beeswax candle and uh, in addition to obviously giving you a little bit of light this also gives you the option to light this while you're trying to work on getting a fire going versus one match trying to light the fire goes out and then you're in a bad situation also obviously beeswax you know you can use it for various uh, medicinal purposes and things like that so that's your first item inside let's go down to the next level down and um, I did peek in here a little bit. So it looks like a lot of the items are kept in these little kind of tins, which does give you the option to make something like char cloth if you needed to do that. So taking this out, this is the wire saw. So just to give you a sense, I just, um, I just, I was actually using the wire saw the other day. I'm not a huge fan of wire saws, honestly. I feel like um, for the amount of work that, that it takes to, to use one effectively and then, you know, compared to the size of the piece of wood, generally it's just easier to try to break it, you know, throw a heavy rock at it, hit it with your foot, something like that. But you do have a wire saw and the good thing is that they do have this, um, this kind of webbing as opposed to just some little wire loops that can be kind of painful to hold on to. So that's your first item after the uh, beeswax candle. Let's move that out of the way here. Let's see what's next. Next up, we have fishing tackle. Looks like some lead weights and some swivels right there. Another weight right there. Fishing line, six, maybe seven hooks set up with a spoon. So that's all in the fishing supplies. That's actually quite a bit of fishing supplies for a tiny little, tiny little uh, container like this. Next up, we've got trail markers and a whistle. So that looks like right there. And, oh, interesting, okay. All right, so we've got these trail markers. I checked to see if they were glow in the dark, they're not, but they are reflective. And you've got quite a few of them. So we've got a lot of these trail markers, some red and some white. There's the white ones. There's the red ones. And uh, pretty sure red is supposed to symbolize, you know, when you're turning, so you get somebody's attention that there's a new angle for the, uh, for your, the trail that you're on or the trail you're marking. We have a very small whistle there. Let's give this a test. So check your ears or cover your ears maybe. Yep, good solid whistle. That is definitely loud. So that's trail markers and whistle. Next up we have can opener and water pur purification. Can opener, I can I can do without. Um, I mean, you gotta, you gotta bring canned food if that's gonna be helpful. But we do have aqua tabs here and it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five, five. Yep, one, two, three, four, five. Set a set of five aqua tabs. So yeah, we've got five aqua tabs. The website does say six. So just as a heads up, it's five apparently here. Um, and these do have an expiration date. These are expire in 09, 2020. So just a heads up. So they're saying that with six, you can purify up to three gallons of water. And in general, that each uh, aqua tab, you can purify around two liters of water. So that's the uh, water purification that you have. Let's see what else we have in here. Next we have rope and a razor blade. So the razor blade just there in the bottom. And then here is the rope on this little wooden spool. 
So this is 25 feet of marine grade rope and they're saying this has 250 pound uh, strength. Next up we have the fire starter and mirror. Let's take a look at that. So we have, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six quick tenders here and then they give you a bunch of matches. There is a mirror on the bottom, which is good. Um, we'll have to find the striker maybe later on in the uh, system. This is first aid slash medical kit. So lots of different uh, gear. I can see aspirin, I can see some medical tape. I was gonna check the website so I didn't have to take it all out, but the website doesn't list all the medical gear. So let's go ahead and just unload this. So we have aspirin, two antiseptic towelettes. We have eight butterfly style uh, band-aids. We have a larger band-aid. Looks like six kind of middle-sized band-aids. And then we have four safety pins. So down below that, they have this, which is the priorities of survival. And it says attitude on the back. And basically it's just uh, the different items that you have in here and how you can use them. So that's a, it's cool to have the information there, obviously. Down on the bottom here is the flashlight. And what they have on the back is this little kind of black cover, which you can unscrew. And then you can see inside there's three tiny little E90 batteries. So as far as the function of your flashlight, hold it down, it's gonna come on. They're saying that's 200 lumens. Then a lower setting, they don't say what the lumen output is. And then to SOS, when you tap it the third time, and then you hit it one more time and it'll go off. One, two, three, and now it's off. So the one thing I was thinking about is that if there's no, I don't see any O-ring in here with that little black cover that covers up the batteries. It doesn't look like it's gonna be, it's gonna have a seal there um, such that if you did have an O-ring and you could seal it, then you could actually put this on the bottom, take the top off, and then you could actually, looks like carry water in this. So unfortunately it doesn't look like that's the case. That being said, what you could do is that if you had to, you could basically put the compass end on, which does have a, an O-ring there, take the flashlight end off, and you could carry you know, water in this. Um, it is aluminum. They say it's nearly indestructible. It definitely feels very solid. But even if it just came down to using the, the aqua tabs in here, you could do that as well. So, so that's the full rundown of the, uh, of the gear here that's included in the Vessel Supplies uh, product. Let me offer you some thoughts here. Uh, first thing is that when I test out a survival kit or examine even just the contents of a survival kit, you know, I'm asking the question, what is the kit built for? What type of scenario? This is not marketed from what I see as a survival kit. It's outdoor supplies. Um, I'm looking at their website. I'm looking at their YouTube channel. It's just, they call it vessel supplies. So if this was a straight up survival kit, I would say, well, you could probably add a couple other things to amp the level up. I wouldn't also call this just straight outdoor supplies as in like something you'd pick up at EMS or an outdoor store uh, for someone who's just kind of a little bit into backpacking. It's kind of in the middle between someone who's maybe just like uh, doesn't do a ton in the outdoors and then a survival kit. It's kind of in the middle there in that it has some supplies that you got to know how to use. Um, that can be great if you do have that skill set, but um, it's not like a full-fledged survival kit in my opinion. There's a good base here for a survival kit. There's some things I'd probably swap out or change. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool the way that they, the thing I like about it is just the innovation, you know. Um, is this something that I'm going to carry with me every time I go into the outdoors? If I don't have my own survival kit that I've built, then I might use this as a base and add a couple more things into my pack. And then, you know, I could be good to go as a backup, as a backup kit. I wouldn't want to carry the Vessel Supplies kit and then one of their... Um, tarp shelter kits as well just because the weight starts to get up there this thing weighs in with all the supplies in it at 18 ounces so i wouldn't call it super light you know i wouldn't want to have two or three of these in my bag that's a lot of extra weight um, but that being said i do like the concept it's just kind of cool and innovative um, yeah so i you know this wasn't a full-fledged review like getting out into the woods and testing all this stuff i've used a lot of these things in other videos so you can check out other videos of me you know using a fishing kit and quick tender and stuff like that one of the things that always stands out to me about you know a, a type of kit like this is that you can have good products but generally you're not going to have um you're never going to get a flashlight like this that's going to be a standalone flashlight you're never going to get a fishing kit like this that's going to be a standalone fishing kit um it's like if here's average and then there's excellent because it's standalone, this stuff is kind of in between. It's at a good or very good level for a lot of them. Um, but you know, the first aid kit has some basic stuff, but not as good as if you build your own first aid kit or bring one that's made just for first aid. But yeah, I, I like to hear what you guys think about this. Um, again, for me, I'm looking at a kind of average outdoors person who does some day hiking and stuff, 
guy who's into hardcore survival or just survival in general, I find this kind of meets that middle category of having something that can kind of go across both worlds. But let's hear your thoughts in the comment section, what you think about the Vessel Supplies uh, outdoor product, and um, we'll get the discussion started. All right, guys, signing off. Thanks, as always, for watching the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Click that little red subscribe button, and then click the bell so you'll get updates when we have more videos coming out. Uh, as always, we're on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr as well. And now, I think it's called Vero, 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 I think it's Vero. Anyhow, the new social media place that people are going to uh, for a lot of outdoor stuff. So check us out over there as well. We got more videos coming soon. Take care.